Good grief. There we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not your fault, Ecom, that you forgot the name of it because I keep changing it. Just saying. Groups. Uh, so, Claudia, thank you, but it's facebook.com slash groups slash deal diva. I'm pretty sure. Okay. All right. So, let's do some clothing here. So, I've got these. These are North End, new with tags. I've got men's, women's. They are moisture wicking, and I've got all sizes from small all the way up to 2XL. They've got side pockets. They have a little inside pocket with a pass through for your headphone wire. Okay, there's a little pass through for the headphone, headphone wire. Full zip. Oops, go ahead and mute yourself, kids. Um, they're full zip and, uh, and they come individually poly bagged. Okay, uh, they're not on hangers, they're individually poly bagged and folded. So it's nice and uh, nice and compact. And this is, here we go. There's the inside pocket, right? That's got the pass through for the, uh, the headphones that comes up and around. And so you can have your iPhone in your pocket and then um, bring the cord up here through this little loop here so that you don't have cords hanging and catching when you're running, okay? So I've got small, medium, large, extra large, 2XL, I think 3XL as well in male and female. Now, the cool thing is these are uh, printable. So if any of you are teacher at manufacturers and you buy these screens, you can actually buy customized screens and you can use these as team jackets. So you can actually market these to like sports teams, like high school sports teams, et cetera, and then put their logo on the back. And if you don't know how to, how to um, get screen prints printed, hit me up, uh, it's contactlyunicorn at gmail.com and I'll give you some bunch of resources where I buy my screen prints from. Okay, so those are North End jackets. Oh, I didn't give you a price, huh? Let me do $7 on the North Ends. North End, $7. And we're going to do MOQ of 24 of them, just because, and here's why. I need a, a larger MOQ for those because they're on two different pallets and I have to pull pallets out to get to them. And then I have to pull boxes off to get to the individual sizes. So it's more work for me. So please, I need you to order two dozen of those so that it justifies. I can't just do one of them because it's the same amount of work for one. Make sense? Okay. So I've got these gorgeous, it's it's not cool yet here in Arizona, at least not Southern Arizona, but I've got these gorgeous sweatshirt hoodies that are uh, Fire Department of New York. This one's black with hot red on it. And it comes with the pockets and it's this really, really snugly fleece inside. And I've got small, medium, large, extra large. And I always wear a size up. Like I wear one of these in the shop when it's cool because I, I like the roomy, right? I like the roomy, so small, and it's men's, small, medium, large, extra large. So a small and men's is gonna fit a medium and woman. So you can market these to the female and male market. If you're selling on Poshmark, um, Mercari, any of the, uh, the clothing sites, and especially because these are new, right? And it's got the, um, you know, the cuff on the end of it. Uh, they'll do really well on the clothing sites, especially. And this is, I will do, I will do $8 on the fleece sweatshirts. And the MOQ, we'll just do a dozen on those because those are hanging on racks in the, uh, in the boutique. And then I also have New York Police Department. Same thing, same size of small, medium, large, extra large, and the same make with the, uh, it's got these great fuzzy pockets here that are really nice and warm. So, uh, and they're all hooded. Okay, so same thing, eight bucks. MOQ a dozen, you can mix and match, okay? So if I have anything that's um, the same product, but it's got different variations, I usually let you mix and match so you're not tied in. Let's do, oh, these guys. So I'm, I'm in the baby in the pet market in big time. So I've got uh, this cute set and your target market for this is, is people who have babies and the, the people in the family, they're hunters and they like camping and things like that. And it says, Show you real one. You can never have enough camo, and it comes with a little bib and these cute little socks, and then these adorable with Minky inside little camo baby slippers, and they fit six to twelve months. And I'm blowing these out. I have they come in a case of twenty four. So your MOQ is twenty four. I need you to buy a case of these because they're already packed, and we'll do four bucks on these. That's the lowest I've ever sold them for. And the MSRP on the back is $14.99. Okay. So four bucks, 
you got to take a whole case of them. I'm trying to move out two pallets of these, and there's about 20 cases on each pallet. So I've got 40 cases of these. I want to move them out, and that's why I'm doing four bucks. MOQ, one case of 24. All right. I know we're going fast because I got a lot I want to go through. So every once in a while, I'll come over to the, here to the chat and make sure I haven't lost y'all. All right. So uh, do you want some more Halloween stuff? What do you guys want to see? Do you want Halloween, Christmas, pet, baby, home decor? Tell me what you want to see. Shout it out in the chat and I'll go for that next. You tell me what you want. Home decor, Claudia, I got you. I got you, girl. I got you, girl. Where is that? Oh, I got these really cute. Oh, here we go. So this is my design. It is a celebrations birthday sign. It actually says celebrations the proper way around, but the video makes it backwards. And it comes with uh, 25 of the hanging hearts. And on the hearts, you write the person's name and date a day of birth, like the 30th of January. And then you hang it on January. You hang it on the month of birth. And it comes with 25 of those hangers. And it's got these um, uh, on the back to, to hang it so that it secures the wall without like going like this and scraping your wall. It's actually got uh, two metal hangers, one on either side. So it's secure on the wall so it doesn't knock off easily. And it comes packaged in the cellophane. So it's, it's perfectly, but it's beautifully packaged. And the, the color's not really showing. It's kind of like a, um, an aqua, okay? It's an aqua blue. And it's got those two hangers on the back, all right? And then you, and then you come with 25 of the hearts and we're gonna blow these out for $7. Okay, so $7 on the celebration sign. We're gonna do, you know, I think we'll do, I'll do a dozen. I'll just but only buy a dozen of these. Now I've got about 2000 of these in stock. Uh, the case boxes, I think are like 36. I'm not gonna make you buy that many and that way you can try them out. And by the way, guys, you can sell on Facebook Marketplace locally. Look for buy sell groups in your local area. I am so successful with those, especially around Christmas time. Okay, you can do a yard sale with all new stuff and then just have the local Facebook groups just put that up there and drive traffic. I do crazy good on Facebook Marketplace and the local buy sell groups. In fact, I run a buy sell group called Joe Max with 42,000 people in the local Phoenix area. Okay, so what did I say this was? Seven bucks for celebration. And we'll do an MOQ of, did I say six? <laughs> did I say six? Somebody tell me. What did I say? Six, 12, what did I say? Ah, but let me Brad, let me let Brad in and slow me. All right, so there was a home decor item. What else you guys want? Christmas home decor, toys or kids clothes. I'm gonna bounce around. Tell me one. And Kathy, I'm gonna go ahead and mute you, hon. Tell me, I'm gonna mute you. Remember, mute yourself when you come in, folks. Thank you so much. All right, let's do some toys and kids clothes, which is, oh, I got this deal. I have them in pink and blue, but the pink is killer. They're branded Levi's, girls' jeans, all Levi's. And I have them from every size from four all the way up to 14. So here's what I've been doing with them. And I have... 750 pair, all different sizes, but here's what I was doing until I ran out of time. Tie-dye, how fun are those? This was just some fun tie-dye in my kitchen sink. And then you stick these things up on Etsy and Poshmark. Here's another one, I like this one too. I really like this one because I like blues, right? So you put these up on Etsy and Poshmark for 15, 20, $25, let's say 20 bucks, right? That's an even amount. Um, and you can get them for me for five bucks a pair. 750 pair in stock, all different sizes, and they're all Levi's. They're all Levi's. This was a closeout. This was a business that went out of business and I scooped all of these up. Uh, I also have 750 blue, okay? I, I like the pink because I can tie dye them and they look really cute. So we're gonna do, what did I say? Seven bucks, remind me, <laughs> seven bucks. And we'll do, uh, let's see, Levi's. Um, is that what I said, guys? Seven bucks? Help me out here. You're out of control. Yes, I am. Five. Ooh, five dollars. Okay. So yeah, that's a steal. And uh, for that, I'm going to have an MOQ of, uh, you're going to buy 48 of those, okay? To make it worth me digging out all the sizes you're going to make me dig out. I know you are. When do you have time to tie-dye? It's my relaxation. Crafty stuff is when I de decompress. I can't I can't actually just sit. You notice I'm walking around. I'm not sitting. Yeah, this is normal for me, not on caffeine. All right, so that was a kid's item. 
let's move on to how about oh i'm having another so this um home decor item is not just for christmas it's also for easter and i only have i'm not sure how many i've got left probably about 10 cases with the 24 in each case okay so i love the packaging on this and it is styrofoam and it is a sun catcher it's a uh fused glass sun catcher with the word love on it with a beaded hanger and a suction cup how beautiful is this it's just beautiful right and you're gonna have to take it's a dozen in a case so i need you to do a dozen your moq is a dozen and i'm gonna blow these out for three dollars okay three dollars for the first people who say i want the love uh, give me the love right MOQ is one box, um, plus shipping, of course, everything's plus shipping, guys. And the more you buy, the more you save, because then I can ship you a half pallet and your per item shipping cost goes down when you buy, buy anything that I can put on a pallet. By the way, remember, if you just came in, anybody who buys $1,000 and more in the next five days or so, you're going to get, I'm going to make you a, I'm just here for the booze t-shirt. This is a men's, small, medium, large, extra large. You might even be able to get a 2XL if you need it. You gotta buy $1,000 and then I'll make this shirt for you and put it in your shipment. Okay, and I love that these are ready to ship. All right, this is a, a pretty a pretty substantial box. So I, I would still put in a poly bag, but if you wanted to, when you sell these, you just put a, slipper, uh, a sticker on it and boom, in the mail. And this is great for the Christmas season, Christian holiday, okay? So I said three bucks on those, MOQ a dozen. All right, who else? Let's see, how much was the MOQ for you, Claudio? 12 is the MOQ, it's one case of the, and it's glass, of the Glass Love Cross. All right, let's make sure I haven't missed anything over here. <laughs> Thank you, Laura says, something was so cute. Oh, the jeans, so super cute. Toys or kids clothes, Christmas and home decor. Let's do Christmas. Mm, oh! <laughs> There's someone in the chat who's going to recognize this. You ready? Check these guys out. Now, before I show you the, these, anybody who's going to, for your knee-jerk reaction as well, I'm only selling on Amazon, and Amazon has restrictions on toys now. I'm going to challenge you to think outside the box and put in the chat for me, how else might you sell these not as toys? You ready? Here we go. It is a boy and girl, or mommy and daddy, mouse set the manufacturer is hugmo and they are super super snugly soft really well made cute like not gingham what is the name it's like plaid like gray plaid and gray is a new black i love gray as a neutral right so i'm going to show you a potential bundle for these but i want you to think if you didn't if you couldn't sell toys if you couldn't get the certificate for amazon to sell toys how else might you sell these at christmas time put it in the chat Help me out, guys. Put it in the chat. I know somebody here is going to say it. Somebody. Cute mouse. Isn't it cute, like Janet? So let me show you as you're thinking about how else might you sell these. I'm going to show you a bundle. You ready? Here you go. How about that gnome Christmas stocking? Are you, are you seeing it now? Are you seeing where I'm going with this? Put together with these two stuffies. Stocking stuffers, right? Now let's picture you have a fireplace in the living room. And you know how they put the, the, that elf on the shelf, that, that, that scary, freaky elf on the shelf guy in different places, right? So what if you had these guys as home decor? You put these in the home decor category if you're on Amazon, and then you make a cute bundle of other home decor stuff. Now this, I'm gonna, if you, if you some of you who don't recognize this yet, guess where I got this? Guess where I got this? Somebody put it in there. You know where I like to get bundle items for just that little extra one? Dollar Tree. Go now. You can actually go to dollartree.com and order them. That is a Dollar Tree. Can you believe it? Now, when you order online, it also, they also have red ones in the box, but I like this because it matches my beautiful stuffies. Okay, so we're going to do, I was just showing you this to show you a bundle idea and help you think outside the box that th these are not necessarily toys, right? They can be little little um, decor pieces, right, up on the shelf. So the set, you gotta buy the boy and the girl, the mommy and the daddy together. It's got those little suspenders. I'll do the set for eight bucks. That's it, eight bucks for the set of these. And they come already in a poly bag together, 
All right, so they're already polybagged together. So I'm gonna do an MOQ of this. Come on, I'll, I'll give you a low MOQ. You can only buy a dozen of these. You don't have to buy a lot. I'll do a dozen of these so you can try them out and you just sell them locally if you want to. All right, so it's $8 a set, mice, and you get the boy and the girl in a poly bag together. And uh, we'll do an MOQ of just a dozen. And then think outside the box. You don't have to sell them as toys. You can sell them as decor pieces. Cute stuff. All right, I know I'm going on and on. Let's keep going. What else do you want to see? Oh, how about some men's stuff? I don't often talk about like men's items, do I? But I actually have, and uh, for Christmas time, this is a great one. I would just do a flat out bundle with both of these together. I have these two sets. I have this one. Now, where do you think these came from? Last Christmas, a local grocery store had these up on their shelves, okay? But at the end of Christmas, they had a ton left. I bought pallets and pallets and pallets of these along with some spa sets, right? That's how I, I got them, it was local. And I, I rented a van and I went around and I just picked up pallets of this stuff. So I've got, it is a beard oil set, right? And it comes with this cool brush and it's got the beard oil and the beard wax. And so, and what you could do is take everything out of there. Forget the packaging, right? If you wanted to, even though it's got a UPC, you can list it, but you can take everything out of here and make a really cute gift basket with this and sell it on Etsy. Right, but then what I would do is I have another one that's a little bit different. This one's got the brush on it. This one has the comb in it, right? And the different kind of spray, right? So it's got like a spray. So what, um, it'll be a mix of these, but what you can do is get them both, take everything out of, out of these, go get one of those gnome stockings and make it, uh, get a red gnome stocking and put everything in there as a dad ready to gift stocking, for example, okay? So I'm blowing these out, you ready? I'll do two bucks a set. Two bucks a set, you gotta get 24 of them, all right? And I'm gonna mix and match. Uh, however many you get will be 50% will be with the comb, 50% will be with the brush. So two bucks a set, blown them out. Men's sets, M-O-Q, what did I say? 24? Gotcha, okay. All right, so that was a man's item. All right, how many in here have been known every once in a while when nobody's around and watching and you're annoyed at something something and you go kind of kind of slip a little bit sometimes it happens all right so if, if you're if you're easily offended please close your eyes for 30 seconds i'm going to show a product that's for snarky people it is it's for snarky people i bought it at a company that went out of business simply because the product was great but she was going through some hardships in her family going through a divorce and she needed to liquidate. So I bought a bunch of leggings and there's one style that if you have an audience of snarky people, this is it. So for the hardcore woman who likes to like work out, take no prisoners, this is the, uh, this is the product for her. I have plus size and I have regular size and this is what it says. And they're super soft and snuggly. It says <clears throat> failure. That's what it says. And they're Buskins brand. Look up the Buskins brand so you can see what these things are valued at. And they're super, super soft and snuggly. Very buttery soft. Go all the way down to the ankle. And I have plus size and regular size. I'm going to blow these out for $3 a pair. I usually all sell my leggings for five to seven a pair. $3 a pair. For this design, I have several hundred in stock, and we'll do an MOQ of 24. Okay. What did I say? Three bucks a pair. How are you guys doing? Too much? Too little? You guys all right? Do you need me to take a breath? Do you want to go get some water, get some wine, get some beer? 24 beard, awesome. Now, I will bring on the snark. <laughs> yes, Nikki. Uh, I, have, I have another snarky that's kind of sort of snarky. Oh, while we're on, while we're on leggings, let me just do this. I've got Halloween and Christmas leggings. You can't pick your style at this price. All right, this has got to be me walk in, put them all and stick them in a box. Okay, if you make me work for it, I got to charge you more. So we'll do, and I'll include the failure less, uh, leggings as well in this deal. And this is the other snarky one. Okay, for those of you in states that are legal, this is fairly popular. And dude, at this price, just walk into dispensaries and resell them for 10 bucks a pair in bulk. 
Just resell them to the owner of the dispensaries at 10 bucks a pair. I'll do three bucks for these. I've got these great Halloween leggings, three bucks. Spider leggings, three bucks. And I'm just gonna do like a big giant Christmas and, um, and Halloween legging box for you at three bucks a pair of these really, really cute snowmen. I love these guys, All right? And this is my favorite, just, just lose my favorite color. All right, and these are blue penguins. So I'll put together a box of you, of you, I will do 24 of them. And you can pick and, pick and choose. I'm sorry, you can't pick and choose. Um, MOQ of, I will put together these designs in a box for you, 24 of them, and I'll do $3 a piece. And if you just let me, let me choose the designs and put them on, the designs and the colors, it's three bucks. If you make me work for it, it's gonna be more than that, okay? So I don't wanna have to pick out specific designs for you. I just wanna fill up a box and send it to you. And for that price, you can sell them anywhere. Heck, do the flea market if you need to, right? Uh, so these are just uh, Xmas leggings. Three bucks. MOQ 24, I'll fill a box. Oh, pet. I love the pet market. How many of you know, well, boo, boo and gizmo around here somewhere. Um, I adore the pet market and I've got a couple of fun pet products, right? Here is two different sizes, two different sizes of, they're not just for dogs, they're pet purses. You may wonder why I have a stuffed, stuffed dog in my office, right? Pet purses it also works for cats, but for cats, it's a little bit different in my house. I just put it on the floor and they climb in it. I don't actually pick them up and walk around with it. That wouldn't work with my cats, <laughs> but for dogs, it would. They fit chihuahuas, they fit small uh, dachshunds, Yorkies, right? Two different sizes. And I love that they have this Sherpa inside, this minky, super soft, did you, hear, did you hear your name, buddy? And it's got this insert that's got a hard base with more Sherpa so that they feel supported when they're in there. And bonus, it's got this hook that's on like this little elastic thing here so that you can hook it on the collar so they don't jump out and get hurt, okay? And it zips closed, the whole thing zips closed like that. And I've got two sizes, the small and the medium. I'm gonna do an MOQ of, I'll do a little MOQ, MOQ six. And these are $12 each, $12. Go look up dog purses and see what these, like sell them for 40 bucks for a dog purse. So I'm blowing them out for $12. You gotta buy six of them. I've got small and medium. Uh, you can mix and match the sizes. How's that? Okay. Oh, <laughs> all right, guys. Remember when I said about just throw it on the floor? Look on the floor, look carefully. Hey, boo. You see that? Do you see that black cat <laughs> in the large one? All I did was throw it on the floor. And there he is. Hi, boo. Can I pick you up? Can I pick you up right now? There's real life. This is what it looks like. <laughs> and Meet Boo. Hi, Boo. And for those of you who weren't on in the beginning, hi, Boo. Who has his own following, his own social media following? He adopted me two years ago as a stray on my back patio, uh, completely dehydrated and malnourished. And he was abused by whoever had him first. And I took him into foster him and ended up he's falling asleep in there. He just laying down, ended up keeping him. And um, so Boo and I have a line now. We have a t shirt line. It's called Snarky Cat with a K, Snarky Cat. And we're doing our a subscription box and 20% of the proceeds of anything we sell under the Snarky Cat line is going to, he's, he's fluffing it, is going to a, a cat shelter. Uh, people who know Boo, yes, yes, this is Boo in real life. Um, it's going to a cat shelter because I found out that black cats are the least adopted color in shelters because people are A, uh, superstitious or B, they believe they're not photogenic. And if anybody's seen my photos of, of Boo, they know that that's not the case, but some people just, right? So uh, that's Snarky Cat. And that's, this is a Snarky Cat t-shirt. So anybody buys $1,000 or more, I'm going to make you this t-shirt. I'm going to make it, I've got a heat press in the other room, and I'm going to make you a t-shirt. And now you can see why I held up this in the begin with. This, my office is a beware of Black Cat Crossing because Boo does walk across the desk and do his thing. Should I keep going? You guys want more? I got plenty more. You guys want more? Okay, so what do you want to see? Do you want pet? Uh, do you want home decor? Do you want kids? Absolutely. Let me scroll up here and just kind of check in with you guys in the chat to make sure I'm not losing anything here. Uh, Barbara gets great stuff at great prices. Cool. What was the size? Laura, what was the size for what? The leggings are a mix of plus and one size. One size fits two 
to eight, uh, two to 12, and then the plus size fits 14 to 20. But at the $3 price, it's just whatever I pick out for you and put in the box. If you want to pick and choose your designs and your sizes, I got to charge you more. Hit me up at contactblueunicorn at gmail.com or 602-888-0342 tomorrow or just respond to the email that I sent out about this, uh, this webinar. And, um, and we can have a chat about what your needs are and talk about what your, if you've got a boutique, uh, if you have an online boutique and you're doing online sales like this, this is the first time I've done anything like this, by the way. How am I doing? You doing okay? Going too fast, going too slow? You guys awake? Hello? Yeah, how am I doing? You guys okay? <laughs> okay, so if you have an online boutique where you're doing this kind of stuff lives, um those the leggings are crazy sellers crazy sellers those ladies just snap them up and i love that they're light because when you ship them right it is literally look at how small you can do a six by nine all the air comes out of it super super easy to ship and inexpensive to ship okay so let's, let's see you're not getting my face here let's do uh how about something completely different this was a close out I have, I still have some of these. These are my Beatles yellow submarine shower curtains. They are fabric. They're micro, um, uh, microfiber fabric. They're super colorful. They even have uh, little stars on them. So you can do it kind of Christmassy and it's got the yellow submarine on it. And I think they're 72 by 72. So they're normal size uh, shower curtains. And like I said, they're fabric. And this year is an anniversary of, I think, I, I think it's Let It Be, the song Let It Be. I want to say it's an anniversary year, which means you're going to get a lot more SEO juice. You're going to get a lot more people searching for the Beatles music, and you can leverage that in your copy on whatever platform you sell it, sell it on, okay? And we're going to do um, Beatles. I'm going to blow these out. Let's see, MOQ. Got to buy a dozen, and I'll do these for about five bucks. Let's blow them out for five bucks because the whole idea tonight is to move quantity for me because I've got product to move and I can't buy more great product for you guys unless I move the product I have. So we'll do five bucks on the Beetle Shower Curtains, MOQ, just one dozen. Okay, how about, all right, what's my favorite mythical animal? For those of you who know me, what's my favorite mythical animal? Put it in the chat, put it in the chat. And remember, you all get my free book, Unicorn, and you all know me. <laughs> So um, remember, it's because you're on this live, you get my free ultimate guide to bundling. Go to thebundlebook.com and download it at your leisure. I've set it up for free. Here we go. Backpacks. Unicorn backpacks. But it's not just a unicorn. Um, so I've got a six foot, if you guys have followed my Christmas photos, with the, uh, the kind of the Pegasus wings, I've got a six foot one of these in my tree in front of my house every Christmas with a herd of unicorns underneath. And I was educated a couple of years ago by the six-year-old across the street who said, that's not a unicorn, that's an alicorn. So if it's got, in case you didn't know, if it's got the horn and the wings, it is an alicorn, not a unicorn. So the cool thing about this is, a couple cool things. This is kind of fake fur, it's fluffy, but check the pocket out. Aside from it having unicorns, check the pocket out. Matching, it's a ready-made bundle matching earphones Whoa, with the unicorn case and then a pair of da, 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 da. Oh my God. Cute unicorn earbuds. So you get the earbuds and you get the backpack and you can sell them on any platform. I would totally sell these on Facebook Marketplace in your local buy sell groups. And you can get, I'll give you, I think I have maybe 20 of them, 24. I didn't count them. Probably should have done that ahead of time. But let's say MOQ six of these, low MOQ. Okay, that's a uni backpack. I'm doing this real old school, guys. Okay, MOQ six. And I'm going to do this plus the earphones for 10 bucks. And like I said, I only have 20 or 24 of these. So snap these up. Heck, give them, for, give them as Christmas gifts if you need to, right? Sell them to your, your friends locally. Let's do, how many of you have a heat press? How many of you make your own t-shirts? If you don't, then I won't show you these. Okay, but if there's someone in here who makes your own t-shirts, by the way, all you need is a heat press 
from Amazon for 120 bucks. And you can start pressing t-shirts like this and make crazy money, crazy money, okay? So if, if you aren't, if you, nobody's saying yes, so I'm gonna say, we're gonna pass on that product. So let's do this one. Staying with the unicorns, you ready? Let's see if I can make these make noise. Can you all hear that? They are musical. They are musical alicorns, okay? Backpack carabiners, which can great bundle item. You're doing anything unicorn, you add one of these and it increases the value by five, six bucks, okay? It's musical. It's musical. So I've got packs of, they come in packs of one, two, three, four, five, six. So your MLQ is a dozen, two packs of them. And we'll do these for, I will do these for two bucks a piece. You gotta buy 12. You need clip. Okay, so two bucks a piece, MOQ 12. Here goes up. How about sports? Any sports fans in here? Got sports fans? Oh, Laura, you totally need to eat press, girl. I've changed for Q4. I started in April. Uh, I've turned my living room into a t shirt factory. <laughs> so now I can make my own t shirts, which is uh, just, and you can personalize them. It's, uh, I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. For those of you doing print on demand on t shirts, you're doing like Amazon merch on Amazon, uh, where you're making like a buck on them, go buy a heat press. Press your own. You'll make, uh, Amazon's making the, the bulk of that. So uh, do a little research on that. Hit me up if you want to learn what I've learned. Um, yeah, about 120 bucks. You can get them cheaper on, uh, I got one, I got a 16 by 20 with an auto open. If you don't know what that means, it means yay, um, off of Facebook marketplace for $75. Yep. About a month ago. So you don't have to buy them new on Amazon. Just go on Facebook marketplace and search in your local area. Okay. You want me to do a webinar about making your own t-shirts? I can do that. Yeah, it's great for, so I also started subscription boxes, guys. I did my first subscription box with just leggings. So it's four leggings a month and I put it up on Crate Joy uh, and also my website. And I'm doing my first um, snarky cat box, which is going to be the boo box, which is all things black cat. So our initial boo box is going to be big, full of a lot of really cool, fun black cat stuff for Halloween and then uh, every quarter we'll roll out a different themed uh, cat box for cat lovers called the Snarky Cat Box. So how many of you are sports fans? I hear football started. So I've got these gorgeous, gorgeous, officially licensed. So they're not, you know, the, the knockoffs. These are officially licensed. I got a killer deal on these. They are the 50 by 60s. So it lays across a queen size bed. It'll fit on top of a queen size bed with UPC. Um, like I said, officially licensed. They're super, super soft, big and colorful. We're gonna do an MOQ of, we'll just do a dozen of these. Let me put Bronco's blanket. Before you ask me, do you have any other teams? No, I do not. I was only able to get this deal on this, okay? So Bronco's blanket, but there are a lot of Bronco's fans. I don't know how they're doing. Anybody watch football? Tell me how the Broncos are doing. Don't watch it, I'm sorry, I don't watch it. <laughs> Um, tell me how they're doing. So Broncos blanket, we're going to do for 10 bucks, MOQ 12. And this is what they look like. Uh, on roll, on roll, on roll, on roll, on roll. They're oh, amazing. What, here's the horse part of it. Show you the horse part of it. Now I'm 5'9 without heels. So I'm standing on the ground and it's really long. There's the horse part of it. And then it says Broncos on this end. Can you guys all see that? Yeah, you can't see what I'm showing you, but there we go. And it's thick and soft. I got a killer deal on these. It was a one-time deal that I've got right now. And I've got a few cases left, 10 bucks each, MOQ a dozen. My office's floor is now littered with product. How about baby products? Anybody selling a baby product? Yes, I agree, Wendy, be careful selling, reselling NFL. But here was, I told you that uh, I was gonna drop some content bombs in here. So that is a great segue too sell on other platforms. I started last April. I started my Shopify when Amazon shut off our ability to sell stuff on, uh, on Amazon because if, it's, if it was non-essential. Um, so I started my Shopify, Etsy, Poshmark, uh, Facebook Marketplace. I tried all of them and there are a lot of platforms. There are niche platforms too for just like shoes, 
for example, right? Baby, there's kid is in, right? And I landed on Facebook Marketplace, local Facebook groups. I have a local group here in Phoenix of 42,000 plus people that I own. So I'm now selling, like I'm the only one allowed to do videos in the group. I pin my posts, right? So I leverage that group. Uh, and Facebook Marketplace has been very, very good to me. So has Etsy. And the key to Etsy is to customize, right? And also Amazon, um, uh, Amazon FBA, they ha now haven't played with customization on Amazon, but they have a customization. They have a personalization part. If you haven't played around with handmade and personalization, I hear it's, I heard that um, I, I have a friend of mine, Barbara, who is doing really well with personalization on Amazon. I'm doing well with personalization on Etsy. And on Etsy, you can charge more. So something I'm, I, can, I sell on eBay, I got to pay 15% fees with PayPal and everything. Um, maybe I sell something for 30. I can sell that thing for 45 or 50 on Etsy with much lower fees. So please, please, right now is the time. We're at September 30th. Now is the time to explore. It's not that hard to get up on Etsy. It's very, you could do it tonight. I challenge you all, start an Etsy store tonight. Just put one thing up there. Just try it. Start an Etsy store tonight, right? Find some, and when you have a heat press, I can personalize baby blankets, girls. Ready? Fill some boys. Here's my bunny baby blanket. I can personalize this with vinyl with the date of birth of a child, right? And it's got the fluffy minky blankets. And if you looked at uh, keyword research on minky, if you've got merchant words to see how many people search for the term minky blanket, uh, a lot. Started on Poshmark last October. Renee's on Poshmark. Yeah. Hey, do me a favor in the chat. If you are selling, tell me what, tell me what platforms you sell products on. Any platforms, drop it in the chat because you're going to be a little bit of an inspiration to the people in the chat who are only selling on Amazon, or maybe they're not selling anywhere yet. And we need to help these folks out. So tell in the chat, where are you selling stuff? What platforms do you use? Okay. So this is a, a bunny baby blanket. I'm going to show you a bundle and then give you a chance to buy the stuff in the bundle. Ready? So baby blankets. I'm going to give you four designs, the two girl, two boy, right? And you can mix and match these designs, but this is, these are the designs I'm giving you a deal on. I'm blowing them out for $6. These are 30 by 40 inch baby blankets, but here's the cool thing. They cross market to the pet. Don't you think if I threw one of these on the floor, who would be on top of it in a heartbeat, right? Animals love these, especially the cats, because they get to like dig in and the dogs, they'll burrow in. I have a friend with uh, recording. Hello, mute. Yourself. Like, yeah. Let me mute you. Sorry about that. So I have a friend who's got a Yorkie and she just buried him herself in there. Um, so baby blankets, six bucks each, MOQ. Uh, I'll do a dozen. And you can choose from the bunny rabbit. Okay, it's got this cute little bunny on it. And it says something rabbit, little rabbit, okay? And then we've got the blue with the love hearts on it. The pink and lavender chevron, pink blue and lavender chevron. And the blue polka dot, blue polka dot. And remember the 30 by 40, they've got the, the, um, the gift tag on it already and uh, ready to go with the, the cute, little, um, cute little bow. So they're ready to gift. Great bundle items. I have put these with plush, with overnight bags, with dog toys. I've made a dog bundle that has, um, for a new puppy, where I sell these dog breeders, where they'll buy these and they'll rub them on the mama and then send them home with the puppy. So the, the puppy's got the mama's smell on it, right? So you can, uh, if you looked on Etsy for something called puppy pack, you'll see what I mean. There are a lot of people selling puppy packs. Up your game because the people who buy puppies have money and they will pay for something that's really cool, like the high-end stuff, right? So we will do six bucks. These four designs, MOQ, a dozen, and you can mix and match. So remember, if you just got on, tell me in the chat that you want baby blankets and how many you want. And then I need you to email me at contactblueunicorn at gmail.com or call me tomorrow. Don't call me tonight after midnight. That's not good. I'm, I'd probably be up, but don't do that. 602-888. 0342. You got to get in touch with me tomorrow and let me know your order, but go ahead and put it in the chat because I'm going to save the chat and go through the chat later tonight to make sure I catch everybody's order. So I promised to show you a bundle item. 
let's see. Let's do it with the unicorn blanket. All right, this is a separate blanket. This is only one style in a box, so I don't have to open up the boxes. You get 20 in a box, so your MOQ is 20. Remember, what is my favorite mythical animal, unicorn? You need blanket. We're gonna do baby blanket, okay? Because I won't have to repack the boxes, I can just slap a label on a box and send it to you. MOQ is 20, $5 each, here they are. What up? It is a unicorn blanket. And then I'm going to show you an item that you can bundle it with. Look how cute these are. Oh my gosh. And they have little birdies on them. And it is also the Minky Blanket 30 by 34. This is my brand, Cutie Baby. I own this brand. I designed the blankets. Uh, so this will do $5. And you can flip these to dog breeders if you wanted to. Okay, MOQ 20, and you can put them with, what did we have that made noise? Check this out. Put one of those, one of these. And there is a cute little bundle. Remember, Christmas is coming. People are buying gifts. And if you've been in a retail store anytime recently, man, there's nothing on the shelves, like nothing. All their stuff is sitting on containers, off the port of Los Angeles, off of Long Beach, off of San Diego, off of LA, right? All, thousands and thousands and thousands of containers sitting on ships with Halloween, Christmas, New Year's, Thanksgiving. You can't, uh, the, the unicorn toy um, is $2 and it is a carabiner clip and it's musical. And it's musical, okay? Uh, and you can buy them separately and put them together. I was just giving you an idea of what a potential bundle could be. Add something else with this too. All right, I've got another idea. I just got these in. Very excited about these. I've got a palette. It was, I don't know if you, uh, if you follow me on Facebook in my group, you'll see, I showed a picture a couple of weeks ago, about a week and a half ago of a palette that was so far leaning over, the truck driver had to like hold it up and I had to like take it off one at a time. These were on there. Thank gosh, they weren't breakable. Oh my God, I love these. So the reason I love, a couple of reasons I love these besides that it's a unicorn, super soft plush, like super, super snuggly plush, really cute fur, but she's a dancer. How many of you have a little girl or a little boy or have had a little girl or a little boy who took dance lessons? Put it in the chat or know somebody. So my boutique is right next door to a dance studio. And those cute little girls come out and they're wearing these cute little outfits, right? And they're wearing their cute little backpacks. So how about you put one of these guys and she's got sparkly clothing. Look at her sparkly clothing. And this is fake fur, but really soft. It's kind of like minky, right? And it's, it's a Hugmo brand. So it's a, a, a really cool brand. The same as the mice, okay? Very soft. Put that together with one of these, look at that. How adorable is this? And I bet because this is skinny and because this is um, uh, pliable that you could fit these in a stocking. Go find a unicorn stocking. I'm sorry, I don't have any. Go find a unicorn stocking and put a blanket and this in the stocking and you have a ready-made unicorn Christmas stocking for a little girl who likes unicorns and, and or dance. Right, so these little guys, they come individually packed in a poly bag, so they're nice and protected from dirt, right? And we're gonna do, let me think, your MOQ on these is, I'll do a dozen MOQ, I'll keep the MOQ small so you can create you know, a couple of, couple of bundles, try them out, I've got a lot of them, so after you try a dozen of them, MOQ a dozen, uh, you can come back and buy some more uh, if they're not gone. So does the dance unicorn pink match the unicorn blanket? Uh, maybe not exactly. It wasn't planned. They're two different suppliers. You know, one is mine, but close enough. See that little pink, that pink here? Can't overthink it too much. Uh, does the feet match the color of the clouds? But close enough. All right, so we will do. So that's the uni plush. Dancer, and I will sell her to you for, she's 14, 15 inches tall. So I'm gonna do $6 on this little girl. 
And if you look on hugmo.co, look at their website and see what they retail for. So I'm going to do $6 on her for you. MOQ is 12 and she sits too. All right, who wanted, how about wine? Anybody feel like wine? <laughs> That's a loaded question. <laughs> okay. Let me get you wine products. I've got wine products, if you would not believe. All right, wine glasses, but what's cool about these wine glasses is our, I love niche markets, wine with my unicorn blanket. Hey, that's not too far from the truth in my house. <laughs> okay, so there, what I like about these is there are four, four, four different ones. There's Fabulous at 50, Finally 21. This is the Flirty at 30 and Fantastic at 40. And then here's what I do with, I have done with bundles with them. I'm going to show you a couple of different wine products and then let your and then show you a bundle to let your imagination go. Remember, these are just ideas, just starting points for y'all. All right. So I uh, I have these and I have several cases of these as well. And it is a collapsible uh, portable wine bottle bag that holds an entire bottle of wine. Stick in your backpack, right? And do, and do a picnic or a sports event if you're allowed, right? And uh, this together with one of those, and then these guys just came in. <gasps> da, 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 da. These are magnets that open up. They have snarky sayings on it, fun snarky sayings that match the sayings on the wine glasses. And there are a dozen in each box and they're super fun. So this one, for example, says, I have to keep one of them for myself. This one says, wine now, Classy and wine is how classy people. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Wine is how classy people get. Oh, I can't say that out loud. Sorry. But it, they're not all that snarky. Some of them are, are a little bit cuter, right? My doctor says, I need glasses, for example. <laughs> That's perfect for what I just did. But then it comes out as a wine opener and a can opener. And it's got a magnet on the back when you close it up gotten that magnet. So you just pop it on the refrigerator or wherever. Okay. So they come in a case of 12 and I'm selling them for $3 each. Okay. So three bucks each, but you got to buy the case. All right. So we've got a case of, let's see, wine openers, MOQ 12. And it's a display case. So if you have a brick and mortar, Pop it out right next to the register. All right, move on. Oh, right. Now I wanted to show you. Think about putting one of those together with one of these and one of these and put it together so it looks something ready like this. A lot of people ask me about packaging. I use organza bags. I love these. And I just put a uh, there's um, a wine bottle thing and I just put that put that wine glass right in the center. And then I just surrounded it with some other products. Put it in an organza bag. There it is, instant present. And I get these organza bags. I, I ordered them from China and I ordered a ton of them in different sizes because I knew I was going to use them for pretty much everything. Uh, but you get them on Amazon and get them now. The China, if you order from China now, it might take a while, even though they're coming air and it might be a pretty pricey to get them now, but go on Amazon and you can get small organza bags for like jewelry at the Dollar Tree. Believe it or not. Did you hear the Dollar Tree is raising the prices? No, that's not the beginning of a joke. They're, raising, they're gonna have a Dollar Tree uh, premium section that looks like product that's being sold at five below. Pretty much all the same product. So they're increasing their stock went up because of that decision. So if you want something from the Dollar Tree that's there now, get it now. All right, so how are you guys doing? Let me check in with you. How are y'all doing? Everybody okay? Is everybody off getting a glass of wine now? <laughs> I told you that. Uh, okay, what did I tell you I was going to teach you? Selling on other platforms? Oh, what do you do if you don't have a place to put a pallet? I've been there, done that lots of times for a long time. Been selling online for a while. So I got creative. Here are some of the things I did. You ready? Take some notes. What do you do if you can't intake a pallet? Because you're living in a third party apartment and or you got an HOA. So the first thing that I would do is uh, I rented storage units. But here are the criteria. You've got to have a storage unit with you where the truck 
has a straight through. It can't be a little bitty storage unit where there's a bunch of turns and whatever, because if it's a giant truck, they can't make it in and out and back and out of that thing would be tough. So I look for a storage unit that has a straight through that maybe one turn to get back out with big wide alleys to get out. You want a larger storage unit, uh, not the little skinny one because you wanna be able to have a pallet jack in there, right? And pallet jacks, I just saw one at, what's that place? Um, it's not Ace Hardware, the other one, Harbor Freight for $329. I was in there looking for a weed whacker the other day, 329 bucks. So you get a pallet jack so you can squeeze it in there uh, and move things around easily. That was a lesson I learned the hard way by not having a pallet jack and unloading things. And that's how my back injury came about two years ago. So I do not recommend lifting stuff off of pallets on a regular basis all by yourself. Okay. So the second thing I did was made sure that, um, yeah, drove oops, I'm going to mute you, Hazel. Girl, there no Hazel. Here we go. Muted you. So the second thing you can do, there was a weekend I had three pallets coming in from a liquidator a few years ago. Uh, my storage units were full and it was going to rain. And those three pallets were showing up and I had no room in the garage, nothing. So what I did was I rented a truck, uh, a, a budget truck. And I had the driver of the semi truck roll up in front of my house and he had a lift gate. So the trucks were like this and I had him lower his lift gate so the edge of the lift gate was on the back of my truck. And then he just rolled the pallets, one, two, three, onto the back of this 20, 24 foot or 20 foot truck, because pallets are four feet by 40 inches by 48 inches. And I had him stagger them, one here, one there, one there, with room around them. So as it was raining outside, I had that, um, uh, that truck in my driveway. And I was on the back of that truck, unloading it and prepping so that I could then drive the products on the truck to UPS with all the boxes a few days later. Boom, okay. So my, uh, and then the last thing I did was I had a, a rental property that had no HOA. And for eight months, I bought a 20 foot container, which you can't really do anymore because containers are pretty expensive at this point, but I bought a 20 foot container. You can rent one too. And I parked it next to my property. And I used that as my prep center for eight months. And then I sold it at auction and made 200 bucks on the container. So I had my own little prep area for, you know, well, I made money on it, basically. and didn't have to pay storage. So that's only three ideas of how you can intake pallets. You can also partner with someone, find a store locally that's got a loading dock and that's got warehouse space. And to say, look, I need to intake. Can you receive three pallets for me? And then go in there and say, look, I'll, I'll get this stuff out of here in one week. And then you just start taking things out, doing your prep and sending them into Amazon if that's what you're doing. Um, uh, but don't lose out on deals because you think you can't take in a pallet. You can, there are ways to do it. Does anybody have ways that you've taken in palletized product without having a warehouse? Drop it in the chat and let's learn from each other. So a couple more products because I wanna make sure that I'm honoring your guys' time. Oh, we're only an hour and 15 into this. Let's take a slick of water and we'll keep, we'll keep going until you drop like flies. <laughs> okay, no pallets yet. It's okay, you don't have to do pallets. Okay, so these guys, how many people have made masks? What was the prices on the wine items? Did I like not do that? I thought I did. The wine openers, MOQ a dozen, three bucks each. The wine, ooh, you're right, I didn't. Oh, oh yeah. ADD, entrepreneur ADD. So this little guy, a buck and MOQ is 36. You can, you can, this is so light and, and easy to put in a bundle because it also holds. Think of all sorts of bundles you can put this in, just add extra value, but the value of it could be $5 more for that bundle that you're selling, but you're paying a buck for it. So $1. What did I just say the MOQ was, kids? 36. We'll make this wine bottle. So you're going to drop in the chat the name of the item and how many you want. And then you're going to email me at contactblueunicorn at gmail.com and, and or tech, uh, call me at 602-888-0342 tomorrow. And we'll get your order all done. We got these. Oh, these guys. So these are $5, $5 a glass. And if you've ever seen those, uh, 
those glasses in that um, the, this this brand that's in like this paper, this cardboard tube. It's round, and she sells it for like thirty bucks a piece. So you can imagine the when you when you put this in a bundle, the profit margin on this. And again, this is a great item for Etsy. Great item for Etsy because look at the back of the glass. There's nothing on it. So you could personalize this using vinyl. Go look up um, a vinyl printing machine there. I, I bought a Silhouette. So there's two different like main brands. You could put vinyl on here with the person's name and just sell this alone as a personalized. But then you put this together with a wine bottle opener and one of those wine bottles and $50 easy, especially since it's going to be personalized with that person's name on it. They only turn 30 once. So their friends are gonna to wanna to buy them something really cool and special. All right, so wine glasses. And these we're gonna call, these are milestone wine glasses. MOQ, I've gotta do MOQ of a dozen because they come packed four of each, three of each, three of each age and there's four ages. So that's 12, MOQ is a dozen on these. And it's one, you have to, I can't pick out the ages for you. You got to take them. No, there's a 21, a 30, a 40, and a 50. I'll come in the back. Okay. I'm blowing up these. I don't know where these came from. They've been in my garage buried. I just found them. So these are tablet sleeves. So it is this neoprene sleeve. And the brand is Billy the Artist. Go look it up. Billy the Artist. And it's a really fun design on it. Kind of mid-century modern is it all means something. And it's neoprene inside with really soft interior. And it's a uh, Billy and it's got a UPC on it, I think. I'm not really sure where they came from. It's a liquidation of something came on something, right? And I've got a box of them. And I think in the box is maybe 40 of them. And we'll do three bucks a piece. MOQ, you got, you know what? You got to take the whole box, two bucks a piece. And I'll tell you how many is in the box afterwards. You got to, there's like maybe between 20 and 30 in the box and that's it. I don't wanna to have to like repack this to, for a bunch of different people taking a few. So you gotta take the whole box, MOQ all, and 20 or 30 pieces in the box and for two bucks each guys, $2. And we'll call these the um, iPad sleeve. And you could probably also put like books in there, et cetera, to protect books, anything that needs to be protected. Okay, so unfortunately, I had to call out the elephant in the room. Uh, we're, we still got Delta variant going on, not fun. Um, so I have a product that helps keep your stuff clean and it's great for teachers and healthcare workers, but especially teachers. So I have these manufactured. It is a charging station. It is a UV charging station. So it charges your phone as well. It's not just a charger. So it's a UV light. Uh, it's voice. Um, it's, it's got a voice. So it's got a voice. It's wireless. And it, it tells you this unit is charging. This unit has done charging. It's a 15 second charge cycle. And you could put your phone in there and charge it. But your keys, your toothbrush, uh, anything, your masks. And this is what it looks like. I've got, I think I only have about 500 of these left. And I've got two different colors. And it comes with the, the charger cord, the plug for the charger cord and instructions, not that you really need instructions. And it's for any, any phone that charges wirelessly. And remember, I got a big honking note phone and it fits very comfortably. And then I can put other stuff in there too. I can put my keys in there, et cetera. And then I just close this up, plug it in, hit the button and automatically charges in 15 seconds. And the UV light on both sides goes on and cleans that sucker off. And in addition, I can put, like I said, my, I, I wear a lot of glasses, so they get handled a lot. I put the glasses in there. I put my keys in there. Uh, I put, you can put your toothbrush in there. This would be a great teacher gift. So I have this color, white, and I have teal. So I have white and I have teal, and they are $25. And I only have about 500 left, about 250 of each color, and then they're gone. Okay, so 25, and this is the UV charger. And your MOQ on that is just a dozen, just a dozen. And you can mix and match the blue and the white. Great teacher gifts. And anybody working in healthcare or anybody on the go is touching a lot of stuff and wants to stay, stay clean and safe. All right, speaking of which, how many people are making masks still? So I have, this is the end of the load. I've got 
um, elastic, 200 yard rolls of elastic. This stuff was like platinum about a year ago and nobody could get elastic, but because I have a bedding company, I could get elastic because we have elastic in the corner of my bed sheets. So I went to my factories and I said, we're trying to make masks over here in America and we need elastic, nobody's got it. Can you sell me some rolls? And that's how this ended up in my life. So this is the last of the rolls, 200 yards. Uh, Joanne Fabric was selling 10 yards, I think two bucks a yard, two bucks a yard. Do the math, they were so overcharging. So this is a roll of 200, I have white and I have black and they're 10 bucks, 10 bucks for these. So $10 for, and uh, we'll just say um, six, MOQ of six for the elastic. And that's 10 bucks for a 20 yard roll. I have black and I have white. So again, you're gonna put what you want and uh, the, uh, how many you want in the chat. What else? You know, what's your, oh, 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 oh. This doesn't only sell. Anybody know what this image is? Tell me in the, in the chat what this image is. This image, this is one of those, you know, I love passionate niche markets, right? So Dachshunds, Skulls, Day of the Dead, Sugar Soul, Skull, Dia de los Muertos. You had all sorts of, oh, look at the puppy. Hi, Sean. Uh, all sorts of great keywords around this. It's an 11 ounce mug. It's double sided, even better. And it comes in a gift box, which I really like. Great for if you've got a retail store, sell them online. But what I'm going to do is uh, put them together with a pair of socks. I'm waiting for socks to come in with Day of the Dead. And the socks, just slide them right in there. So it doesn't, and they're not heavy, doesn't take up any more bulk. Uh, so uh, that will be my easy peasy bundle. You put, what else could you put with these Day of the Dead mugs as a bundle? You can sell them individually, but you want to increase your profit margin, you know, get it to be like a $25 gift box with a couple of different things based on the Day of the Dead mug. So think about, how about a scrunchie, right? Put it in there with a scrunchie. If you could find some little sample packs of actual coffee, like really deep roast coffee or something, put that together with it. So think about what you can do with bundling with these. So we're gonna do $4 a mug. And that again, it's with the gift box, with the UPC on it. And it's 11 ounce double-sided, $4 for the skull mug. And your MOQ on this is, say a dozen, gotta do a dozen on these. And that's it. My MOQs are really small, so you can test out bundle concepts. All right. All right. Let's do. Oh, I forgot. I got another wine one. So you saw it in my bundle, the the wine bundle that I showed you. This was one of the items in there, and it matches some of the snarky sayings on the wine bottle openers. It's a flask. Bad decisions make good stories, and these cuties match some of the. So see this finally 21 in that hot pink, there we go. And I love that it's the same size as the side of the box. So you can put it in an organza bag like that. So these are, these are flasks, it doesn't have to carry wine, you can carry anything. This is a look, I'm on a liquid diet. Uh, so far I've lost two days. <laughs> okay. And then there's a purple one. I don't get drunk, I get fabulous. And this green one, I'm not as thick as you drunk, I am. Okay. So I've got four different ones, the purple, the green, the blue, and the pink. And sadly, this company, DEI, about two weeks ago, got an email. They are uh, 20 years in business, a casualty of the lack of ability to get their product. They are out of business. They are now defunct. Unfortunately, I bought pallets of product from them. I've got coffee, cat coffee mugs, dog coffee mugs, uh, motivational coffee mugs. I'll show you some of those on another live. I didn't bring them here, uh, but they are now defunct, unfortunately, but they had great product and I bought a lot of it at liquidation prices. So we're going to do $4 on these flasks and it's metal and it's in the gift box already with the bow on it, ready to sell. So $4 flask, MOQ, is MOQ, we're gonna do a dozen MOQ on those. And it's uh, three of each of the designs. You can't pick, pick the design individually, okay? It's three of each of the colors, okay? How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Everybody okay? 
So what's yes, Renee, it is very sad. When the, the president of the company sent that email to me a couple of weeks ago, I was like, no, you should bought more. So I'm um, 20 years in business. So unfortunately, you know, I, I went with the concept at the beginning of the summer. She who has inventory wins this Q4. And I went and found great product, niche product. You're seeing a lot of it at great prices because I knew that fourth quarter, people weren't going to be able to get things. So what is the name of the flask? It's called flask. Just say wine flask or flask and four bucks each MOQ a dozen. All right, let's switch things up because I like fanatical niche markets. And I discovered one based on a product I bought. Uh, how many thousands did I buy? 22,000. <laughs> oh, I got a good deal but I had to figure out other ways to sell this product. And I accidentally in a sleep, uh, yeah, thanks Renee, um, in, in just sleeplessness, I had this insomnia at like two in the morning. I'm like, how am I gonna sell these things? It's, uh, it's a pet item. You guys wanna see it? Because I found a pet that I didn't know was actually a pet and that market is, has exploded. I had viral posts for this particular pet and it's not a dog. And it's not a cat. You guys want to see what this pet is that I had no clue people kept as pets? Oh, Myrna. Bless your little heart. I love you. Yes, Myrna's on it. I'll show you what I did. Because it's kind of funny. Let me grab my, my let me grab Gertrude for you. Meet Gertrude. This is Gertrude. She's my chicken. And I acquired these dog ponchos and the brand is Pucho and they're super cute with little bow ties. I'm going to show you. And I'm thinking there's a lot of these to sell and it's two in the morning and I had insomnia and I get out of bed. I'm like, I got a taxidermy chicken somewhere around here. I know I do. And I pulled out Gertrude that I'd normally just use as like a prop because she's just cool. And I stuck one on her. And I posted it up and I said, this is kind of a joke. It went nuts. People were sharing it. It went viral. <laughs> Look, oh my God, the chicken market is a thing. So I just put, put this little poncho on Gertrude. Boom, put it up there. I sell more of these to the chicken market than I do to the dog market. There she is. There's Gertrude in her dog poncho. So. I have three sizes, four sizes, extra small, small, medium, and large for whatever size chicken, duck, goose, ferret, or rat you have, or other alternative pets. And the fun thing about these is, remember, what did I say I bought that's in my living room? What did I say I bought? I bought a heat press, right? So I thought, okay, well, how can I make this even cooler? How many of you have ever worn a ugly Christmas sweater? All right, how can I make these things ugly dog sweaters, ugly chicken sweaters, so that I have variations to sell them? And here's some of the, the fun designs. All right, we've got black, uh, red and black, blue. I love this one. But then I went and I bought some of these, uh, these heat press things, right? But I bought the ones that fit infant clothing, and then I pressed them on the back of these. So there's some gnomes, because I wanted to see if they would stick on this, this this felt kind of material. They do. So now I've discovered I can customize, you can customize these doggy ponchos with heat press designs. And you could put names on them, right? So, oh, Myrna, you've been sharing this since you mentioned it in the summit. Oh, yes, I did mention the chickens and I was a speaker at the Ecom summit, summit and I talked about the chickens. Well, I've taken it a step further, Myrna, and I started pressing these designs on. Look, at, here's the purple and uh, this kind of the Aztec design, but look what I pressed on it. Oh, so what I did was, you know, I like mashups. For those of you who watch my bundling stuff, I like to mash up different um, highly trafficked and, uh, oops, I gotta let this person in, and, uh, and fanatical niche markets. So pet market, skull market. So I put this beautiful design, which I got from Alibaba for about a buck and a half for this design. And I put that on the large poncho 
So you're not just selling the ponchos. You can customize these. You can make ugly Christmas sweaters out of these by putting all sorts of ugly, funky, like crafty, anything you got sitting, you, you ladies especially, you know what? You got a shelf somewhere with pom-poms and buttons and, and safety pins, <laughs> right? And all this craft stuff that's sitting there. You could, you could customize these guys in the individual one-of-a-kind ugly Christmas sweater ponchos for dogs, chickens, cats, ferrets, foxes, whatever, right? and sell these on Etsy for 30 bucks. Your cost. Oh, here's another one. Here's another one. This is the Merry Christmas one. And this is, this is smaller designs. So I was able to take, here's a USA one on the blue one. So I was just playing around with different designs. And I'll, I'll even show you if you decide you want to go this route. I will tell you where to get all, all these people who print out these designs that, and then I'll have like six of these on a sheet and I'll cut them out. So this thing was like 25 cents, right? For this design. Uh, and then I just pressed it on. And there's another one I cut out. And that's just, that's just an iron on, believe it or not. So I'll even show you, if you decide you want to go that route, I'll tell you where to get a, um, a heat press and how I did this. So these ponchos for you are two bucks each. I've got six designs. I've got extra small, small, medium, and large. $2 for the ponchos and they're all, the, and I haven't like pressed anything on them. You just get the blank ones, okay? You don't get the designs on it. This is just to show you what you can do with these. So two bucks each, you can sell these too. It's got this um, elastic band around the center that isn't Velcro, which is good because some animals are afraid of that sound of Velcro and it's very soft and pliable. So it's not gonna hurt them. Like it's not a thin piece. And, and then this just slides over the little heads, the little chicken heads. <laughs> If you think of anything else I'm missing of what you can do with these cute ponchos, put it in the chat. But think outside the box. These things are adorable, uh, two bucks a piece. And uh, it's gonna be hard for me to sell you like a dozen of them because I've got pallets, I think 11 pallets of these. So I would have to dig through all the boxes to get different designs and sizes. So we're gonna have to figure out, let's say your MOQ on these is 100. Gotta buy 100 of them. Uh, and you can't choose a specific color or design. It's got to be 100 mixed. I might change that depending on, you know what? You're going to buy 100, message me, and let's figure out what your needs are. Uh, and because, like I said, I've got to go through 11 palettes to pick out the different designs and colors for you. So you can't tell me a specific size, but I'll fig we'll figure something out. Let's just say you got to buy 100 of them. MOQ, 100. If you're interested, two bucks each, let me know and we'll figure out how I'm going to, uh, <laughs> we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna pick things out for you. But we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. So that's Gertrude. We're just gonna leave her back here because she's cool and she's funny. That was uh, one of my favorite buys of this year was those ponchos because uh, I discovered a new market, which now, oh, here's, you want a bundle idea for this? I haven't done this. I haven't had time. I got too much going on, but I went on AliExpress and I found <laughs> Chicken helmets. <laughs> They're these little bitty helmets they put on their chickens so they don't get hurt. So if you put, a and they're like 20 cents each or something, you put a bundle together. And what I found out in the chicken market, most people don't just have one. Chickens are like potato chips. They have a lot of chickens. They have multiple chickens. They have chicken broods. I, get, I don't know if that's the word for it, but they have, whole, like, they have a lot of chickens. So you want to sell them in sets. You want to sell them in a set of 10 all at once. Don't sell individually. Sell them in a set of 10 ponchos with 10 assorted helmets. Go look on AliExpress tonight and go look up the helmets. It's hilarious. Yes, Myrna, chickens are like some potato chips, but now that I'm looking at that, I didn't mean it as though you should eat them because these are pets and you don't want to enter that market saying, <laughs> eat your chicken. Um, these are actually pets and they eat their eggs, which is kind of cool. Uh, homesteading went crazy off the charts. I mean, it really increased people who wanted to make their own food, grow their own food, have their own food um, during, you know, the past year or so. So that market has exploded. So go chase the chicken market. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't say it with a straight face, kids. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Chase the chicken market. It's a thing. There is, uh, how many of you have a dog? Shirley, I think I just saw you with your dog, right? How many of you have a dog? The KFC shows. Is it the KFC? Oh no, that's the Kentucky. <laughs> that's Kentucky Fried Chicken. No, the, the, the dog show. What is that? Help me out here, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm falling. I'm K A K C. 
<laughs> Sorry, we'll do a blooper <laughs> right so they, <laughs> the AKC shows, right? Where they have these dogs and, and it's a serious thing. And they have the, they have a chicken equivalent. They have livestock shows where they show chickens. This is a thing. If anybody wants a market to go after, there is a there are Facebook groups. One is called Chicken Lovers. I'm in. There's a, a chicken lovers group that has like 50,000 members on Facebook market on Facebook. Go start your own chicken group. Right. And then you can feed products. Go start a chicken lovers page and do Facebook ads to your Shopify store or your Etsy store and your your golden and just source chicken products. So that's uh, that's kind of my 22 cents. What do you think, guys? A couple more items, and then I'll let you go for the night. Are you are you like exhausted and done, or you want a couple more? You tell me. I'll let you lead this. Just say keep going, and we'll just do a couple more. Or we're done, Barbara. We're so tired of you. <laughs> All types of farm animals contests. Keep going. Okay, I know I can be a little bit much for some people, <laughs> but I love what I do, so it doesn't matter. Oh, 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 oh. great bundle item. They smell so good. My warehouse smells amazing. Okay, here we go. Now, I already have my house full of pumpkin spice smells. I'm one of those crazy people. My, my neighbors are used to it now, but the day after Halloween, I put my six-foot unicorn in the front tree. I'm that hardcore about Christmas decorations because they make me happy. Christmas movies, Christmas music, uh, pumpkin spice, they make me happy. So, so I'm not hurting anybody with it. I got pumpkin spice for you, ready? It, it come in a box six and there are six in each case. So you've got to buy 36 individual packs. So the MOQ, MOQ 36, and we're gonna do pumpkin spice, pumpkin wax. We're gonna do a buck. We do buck each. So you gotta buy 36 of them. So just 36 bucks. Great bundle item for anything you're doing Christmas wise because it's pumpkin and spice. Here we go. Wendy's, what is it, Wendy? What is it? I was, I was, you know, I was teasing you. I was doing the build up. Come on. <laughs> I'm working on it. They're wax cubes, pumpkin spice wax cubes. And you get, uh, they're a buck a piece, and your MOQ is 36. That's it. And they smell, and they're not like the little wimpy ones, you know, those half packages they sell at the Dollar Tree that they're trying to rip you off. And then they don't smell like anything when you put them in your wax. This sucker smells, I put one of these cubes in my kitchen on the other end of the house. And within an hour, it's this lovely, soft pumpkin and spice smell. Oops, pumpkin spice. Is that backward? I'm sorry. And the brand is uh, Crafters and Co., and they're soy-based wax melts. So they hold the fragrance for longer than the cheaper ones. Here, smell. No? Okay, I tried. We need smell. We need smell a vision version of Barbara's wholesale showcases because this is way too much fun. <laughs> I'm having always too much fun. Okay, so 36 of them. Buck a piece. I've got a lot. So get in your orders. Tell me I need wax. I need a bunch of them. Put these in every bundle you're doing. Because think about it. If you've got a bundle selling for 30 bucks and you put this in, you can now sell it for 35. Okay. <laughs> okay, someone in the chat just said, you sure those, uh, Wendy said, you sure those flasks were empty? Well, I got them. You, you're, you're, are you wondering what's in this? No, actually, uh, wine makes me sleepy. So this is me normal. And I say that with quotes, <laughs> be normal. But I love what I do, I love life, I love serving and uh, I love having fun. So, and this is fun for me because really in the end guys, why are we in business? Why are we in business? To be miserable all the time? No, I wanna have fun doing what I'm doing and I have fun. I have fun working deals, I have fun uh, creating relationships with suppliers and with buyers and with customers. That floats my boat, that feeds my soul. So this is natural for me. How about a pet product? I get a bunch of these in. They are food mats, pet food mats, and they've got this great, they're not the, you know, the junky kind. They have like this kind of a carpety feel. And on the back, they've got rubber. 
And there's three different designs and they come, I believe in a case of 36. So I've got the bones, I've got the welcome. So these are dog oriented, but this one can be used for cats. And it says, love you more. Whoops, love you more. This is the one I've got under my boys' balls. Love you more. And you can also use them. I, I have one of them out back. Boy, I'll tell you, the, cat, the feral cats in the neighborhood and the ones that have been abandoned, they, they, there must be a blinking sign on top of the house, my house that says, sucker, <laughs> because they have heated, heated beds out there. They have uh, bowls of food and water, but the good stuff. And then I put this man out there, uh, th this one out there so that she can lie down on it. I, the, one of them is called Honey Bunny. I named the feral cat. It's sad. It's sad, but I'm gonna I'm gonna build a catio back there. They just they see me coming, sucker cat lady, right? So I put these outside uh, just so they can lay on it, so they're not laying on the hot cement in the summer or the cold cement. And oh, heads up, I got um, a text from one of my suppliers right before I was uh, coming on the Zoom, telling me that he has a deal for me that's coming through tomorrow. But he uh, he gives me first dibs at really great prices. Um, and that's the value of relationships in this business, folks. You've got to have relationship um, with your suppliers and with your customers. I mean, everything is built on relationships. And that leverages into, he's got, it is an outdoor cat mat. So it's this heated plug-in cat mat and winter's coming. So I don't even know the price on these yet, but I already told him, yes, I'll take them, yes. So if you're like me and you're that crazy um, person who takes care of stray animals, uh, then that's going to be a product for you too. I'll let you know when that comes in. Anyway, we've got these mats and they're 13 by 19 with the rubber back um, in a really nice kind of, kind of carpet. It's uh, very, very well made. It's not printed on. This is actually part of the design. And we're going to do four bucks a piece on these. You got to take MOQ 36. Got to take the case off my hands so I'm not, and it's uh, three different designs. So four bucks a piece. And that is the um, food mat, MOQ 36. So I can just slap a label on the case and mail it to you. Okay, lots of, and here's the cool thing as a bundler, if you're bundling and you're selling, you're thinking, oh man, that's big, that's gonna cost a lot. Nope, a couple ways you can do it. You can get a tube, mail it like this, or just mail it in a, Poly mailer, okay, or a fold, a fold to put inside a bundle. And these would be really cool if you're doing a like a, a dog lover's box to put one of these in there because the perceived value when they open this up, when they get the box, is going to be off the charts. Okay, so just some ideas what you can do with bundles on that. Does anybody have any questions about bundling? taking in product if you don't have a warehouse or selling on multiple platforms, drop it in the chat so I can make sure I'm also giving you value. Ask me any questions while well, you got me. I'm a captive audience here. I can't go anywhere. So uh, ask me. Ooh. Oh, I don't know what this is. He just came in. You gotta buy a case, but the case is super light and it's a Christmas product and it's great for bundling, but you can also sell them individually and you can personalize them. It's hitting, it hits all of, all of the, uh, all the things I love about a product. So 72 in a case. There are these awesome Christmas ornaments, photo Christmas ornaments, without photos, of course, photo Christmas ornaments, double-sided in this plastic, it's plastic with plastic protective. And I love niche markets. Let's, let's put this together with the chicken thing. So with these guys, you sell this, with a helmet and a customizable ornament that they put the picture of their chicken inside. Like I bet the, or oh, could you hang these in the chicken coop where they, they tap at their own reflection because it's kind of reflective. I'm, I'm so enamored with this chicken market. I can't wait to dig into it. Another market I'm in is Dachshunds. Dachshund lovers, I love their Dachshunds and just like potato chips, can't gotta have more than one. So what I did was I found a picture of Dachshund and I put it in there just to test it out that this would actually stay in there because I, I don't like to sell something that is not going to work because that's, you know, reflects poorly on me. So it actually, uh, the photo frame has like this ridge to it. So I cut this out. It didn't glue it in or anything. That's just a little piece of paper. 
That's an example of what it is. You got to buy a case of them, 72 in a case, 100 bucks. 100 bucks, 72 in a case, and each of them is individually in these. And I will pay shipping on that case. Don't buy anything else, just buy that. 100 bucks, 72 pieces, and I'll flap a label on it and pay for the shipping myself. This is a great bundle item. You can also sell them individually and just customize them, stick them up on Etsy. So 72 in a case, $100. Gotta buy a case though, because I don't wanna be opening up and repackaging stuff. No, I didn't provide UPC on these items because I, I know that you sell mainly on Amazon, uh, but I'd say reach, start thinking about not selling, like not, not, not selling on Amazon. I sell a lot on Amazon too. But think about where else can, can you sell these things. And if you're bundling, you're going to do a GTI a TI and exemption on Amazon. You're going to request a UPC exemption for whatever categories you're uh, selling your bundles in. Choose generic as your brand. And, uh, and you, then you don't need UPCs. So my goal isn't to sell you stuff that you just ship in Amazon directly. Because heck, what do I need you for? I'll just do it. Make sense? So I'm selling you stuff that you can use as bundles sell on a bunch of different platforms, Facebook Marketplace, Amazon, eBay, Etsy, think outside the box, but create a bundle where you have no competition. You sprinkle your creativity on these items to create a custom bundle that nobody can compete against. That's the secret sauce. That's the juice that's going to make you successful because basically you're creating private label products for yourself that no one can duplicate if you do it right. Make sense? You guys all know that I'm the creator of the Bundle Masterclass. You go to bundlemasterclass.com, you see what I do. And download the free bundle book. It's, it's not free, but it's free for you because you're here. Call it, go to the bundle, the, the bundlebook.com. I created a link for you that you can download that for free and start reading through that. Yes, the ornament is plastic, Wendy. It is plastic, but it's it's got some it, it it's got some girth to it. Like it's not, it's not seamed here. See, there's no seam. So it's not gonna pop apart. Like it's, 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 it's oh, that one on the floor and it didn't break. So, and I like that it comes, each of them is packed in these individual plastic so that that protects it even further. Okay, so hundred bucks takes it for a box of 72 of the stars. And if all you want is that, you don't get anything else, I'm gonna, pay shipping on this because you are on, you are on this call. And yes, the GTI exemption does still work. I just did it two days ago for a new bundle I was doing. Uh, no, you don't have to have a trademark. You don't have to have a trademark now. You just do a UPC exemption. It's easy. So, and if you don't believe me, go try it. Like I know there are a lot of people, a lot of different opinions. I've been doing this a while and I am actually a seller on Amazon. So there are unfortunately people out there who used to sell on Amazon, didn't do so well, decided they knew enough to teach other people, stopped selling on Amazon, and are trying to teach you how to sell on Amazon. If you're gonna follow someone, no matter what they're teaching, make sure they're doing what, what they're teaching, right? Make sure they've got skin in the game. I've, I've got skin in the game at Amazon. So uh, I'm getting, um, I, I, I'm, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm trying to read the chat at the same time I'm doing that. That's not good as an ADD person. So uh, I create new bundles, especially now, headed into fourth quarter. The next week or so, I'm going to be creating a ton of new, um, uh, new bundles and new listings. So Wendy, just reach out to me. You have skin in the game on everything. Oh, heck no. No, no, I, 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 it seems like it. It does seem like it. Uh, but I'm only doing things that I really like to do. Every once in a while, I come across a project and it's a little bit unpleasant um, and I have to kind of back out of it, but mostly I try to just stick to doing the things that I really like to do. Uh, I don't know, do one more thing. Oh, socks, you guys need bundle items. I got these in the middle of summer when suppliers were like, Gary, so please take this Christmas stuff off my hands, make it go away. So I bought a bunch of these, it's just fun, long, not the little cheapo ones that are, you know, real short. They're really cute, long socks, great bundle items. And what I like is they roll up real small. You can put them inside of a coffee mug. Just put them inside of a coffee mug. That's a great little bundle, a coffee mug and a pair of socks. So I've got one, 
two designs. That one's little reindeers, cute gray snowman. Uh, another snowman who looks kind of upset, but I like the back part because it's like a different design, but he looks like he's unhappy. Might, maybe he's melting. And there's the elves. Oh, and on the on one side of these, it says Feliz Navidad. But I like that the front and the back are, are different. That's cute. So that's the, the rear end of the reindeer. That's the front of the reindeer. And then one of them says Feliz Navidad on the back. And the, the, little, the little heel is different. So they're really well made. And we're gonna do a buck a pair. Buck a pair on these and you gotta take, gotta take 36 of them. Yeah, you gotta take 36. Socks. 36. MOQ. 36. I think we're winding down. What do you think, guys? All right, let me let me get in here. I've, I've always got more stuff. This is like nothing. I brought this stuff home from the showroom. Like there's way more stuff at the showroom, but let's let's kind of stop it there. I think that's a good amount of ideas for you. Uh, it's a good amount of product for you to choose from. And let me go into the chat and answer your questions because I don't want it to be just about me saying, buy stuff, buy stuff. I also want to provide value to you during this and why you got me. Let me see what I can help you with. Let me go in the chat here. And if you want, we can even play around and go live. That'd be kind of fun. Uh, toot, 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 toot. Let me view a gallery so I can see all of you. Turn on your video if, if you feel like it. You don't have to, but let's, let's get more personal. Let's get physical. Yeah, that was bad. Sorry. <laughs> we're, we're just laughing at me. Okay, Myrna, the, 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 the alternative would be, hi, my name is Barbara. It right? doesn't suit you. Wouldn't it be it so doesn't suit more, you at all. It's so much more fun just to have fun. Absolutely. Socks are one, I'm guessing they're one size fits all. So I don't know, I haven't tried them on. That did fit me. So they're pretty, they're pretty stretchy. It doesn't say, doesn't say. But they're, like I said, they're pretty stretchy. So we should probably, they're adult size. I don't think they're kid size unless you got a kid with a big feet. So teenage sons, maybe. Let's answer your questions. Get on your video, shout it out. Let me go into the chat here and I'm going to go backwards up. Socks one size fits all. Awesome stuff, Barb. Thank you, Renee. I love you. I'm glad that you guys were on. I'm sorry Boo didn't come in and make more of a, he might be sleeping in one of, one of the cat carrier bags. Uh, adult, but wait, 3.30 in the morning, you watch. 3.30 in the morning, the, the boys, Gizmo and Boo, will get on the bed and decide that's where they're going to play fight. On me, on my feet at 3.30 in the morning. I don't need alarm clocks. I need kitty tranquilizers. Oh, so anyway, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. Can you suggest something to bundle with mini trees? Obviously, mini ornaments, but anything else? Yes. So Mini tree market is not just for Christmas. Dollar Tree has white mini trees. Think Halloween. One year I got black mini trees. No, I got the white ones. And another store had eyeball ornaments. And I put that, a pair of sugar, or a set of sugar skull tinsel and the eyeball ornaments with that mini tree. I called it my spooky tree and I sold it for Halloween. So think outside the box. I'm one of those crazy people who has pink trees, aqua trees, turquoise trees. I have rainbow trees. I sell black trees. I sell deep blue trees and fuchsia trees. I've got those in my warehouse. I didn't tell you about them because shipping uh, is too expensive. But if you live in Phoenix, I got some trees for you, but none of them are green. So think unicorn tree, uh, elf tree. How about a mice? And you do a, uh, it was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Somebody finished that. And you do a mouse themed like a Christmas story. Myrna just did it. I just read her lips. <laughs> so you do a Christmas story themed, right? Uh, or you just do themed trees. So unicorn tree, great seller, mid-century modern. Anything mid-century modern. That, I'm just telling you stuff that I go crazy for. If you put something mid-century modern in front of me, I'd be handing you my checkbook. Right, so you find those markets. How about a, okay, kids, what was I talking about? That is a fanatical niche market that I had no idea existed. Let's do a mashup. What was it? Tell me, somebody shout it out. Gertrude, fanatical niche. Okay, how about a Christmas tree for chicken lovers? 
fact, I can even get you uh, these uh, round. Anybody know what a dream catcher is? I can get you these dream catchers, but they have chickens on them. And if anybody wants those, put in the chat now. But Because I don't have them, but I, I was a little bit like, I don't know, should I buy these? But if you tell me you want some, I will secure them if they are still available. Right? So you put all those little uh, dream catchers on a tree and you make it a chicken tree. What else could you put on a chicken tree? Make it a dachshund themed tree. So theme those trees. It's not a mini tree because a mini isn't your target market. It's unicorns. You put unicorns on it. You have about owls, people who like owls, people who like dachshunds, people who like Yorkies, people who like black cats. Oh my God, if you did black cat themed, if you found a bunch of different black cat or cat themed ornaments and you just did a bundle of cat ornaments, I'd buy them because you know, it doesn't take more than a week of having one of my Christmas trees up before one of my cats is planted inside of it or climbing up the top. So why not have a cat tree? Now I've got all sorts of photo opportunities with live cats and cat ornaments. So think outside the box. It's not a mini tree. It's a tree with stuff for people who are crazy about something, fill in blank. And remember, everybody, if you came in late, anybody buys $1,000 or more of stuff, I'm gonna make you this t-shirt. It says, I'm just here for the booze. And it's a play on the word boo because of my black cat, boo. I will make you this t-shirt. You just need to tell me small, medium, large, extra large, and men's. Uh, maybe I might even have some 2XL and I'll, I'll heat press this on for you and send it in your shipment by $1,000. I do this for you for free. Okay, what else? Can you set something to build? We did this. Christmas towels. Did I not do the Christmas towels? Hey kids, I've got these. So I've got, there's six different designs. One of them is gnome. I think they come 72 in a box or 36 in a box. Let's say 36. It, I think it's 36 in a box and there's, they're just cute designs. But the cool thing is they're not like the cheap microfiber. It's cotton. It's called potato sack towel. And what I like about this supplier is in the corner, they sew on, they sew this on there. So it's a hanger. Right? It's not the, 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 the crap ones that fall apart. So it can be used as a decor item because it's got that hanger on it. So you can hang it from a hook in the kitchen. And there's six different designs. Don't get your tinsel in a tangle. What happens under the mistletoe stays under the mistletoe. Dear Santa, I can explain. One of my favorites is be good or I will text Santa. That's pretty relevant if you got kids. Best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. This is my house, it's in Christmas carols. And then there's another one that says uh, um, gnome for Christmas with a gnome on it. I don't have here because I think I stole it and put it in my kitchen because I like gnomes. So you get six of them. They are, uh, we'll do 36 to a case. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a buck and a half each, buck 50 each. And it's six different designs, 36 in a case. And I have maybe 10 cases and that's it. So let me know if you want them. Again, you're gonna put in the chat uh, what you want and you gotta email me contact blueunicorn at gmail.com or call me tomorrow 602-888-0342. Let me put that in the chat so you've got it again. And then I'm gonna answer some more questions here. So 602-888-0342. What I'll do is I'll build your order and weigh it up and get you a freight quote or a shipping quote and then um, invoice you through Shopify. And then once you pay it, we'll, uh, I'll send out the order. All right, so there's my phone number and it's contactblueunicorn at gmail.com because I'm selling um, under Blue Unicorn Wholesale. By the way, I've got a Facebook group now called Blue Unicorn Wholesale. It's mostly for boutique owners, uh, but anybody can be in there. It's a very small um, group and a lot of these deals are in there. So plus everything that I haven't shown tonight is also, I listed. I've got a ton of uh, bling Halloween skull jewelry that I didn't have that many of, so I couldn't do a wholesale on them, but they're gorgeous. What do you think? But I only have like two of each. So I didn't offer these to you guys, but if you go to, go on Facebook and go to Blue Unicorn Wholesale, it's facebook.com slash groups slash Blue Unicorn Wholesale, I think. You'll be able to see the small quantity stuff that I offer to boutique owners where I only have two or three. 
it's still wholesale prices, but it, it, I didn't offer those to you because I thought it might be too small of deals for you. So, but then ornaments need to be mini. That's where I'm stuck. Think outside the box. What is mini that's not an ornament that you can make an ornament? Wendy, M MCM freaks we are, Barb. Rock on, Renee. Chicken, mini chicken, mini trees. I love your trees, Barb. Yeah, you might've seen them. Eyeball ornaments, too big for mini trees. Actually, it was a mini tree that I did the eyeball ornaments on and they were really small. So if you're doing small trees, I don't know, like that big, if that's what you're talking about, look for dollhouse accessories on AliExpress. Okay, do you have coffee or grocery items? I don't, I've never really gotten into coffee or grocery, although I did just do my first um, uh, H&B, health and beauty item. And I didn't even offer it to you guys because it's selling so crazy locally that I didn't even bring it here. It's a wax warmer for epilator. So it's, it's got a set little warmer and it's got wax to it. And the, um, you know, the, the tongue depressors that you use to take off hair where you don't want it to be. And it's selling crazy locally on Facebook market, uh, the local Facebook group. So I'm not going to wholesale it to you, but if you want more health and beauty stuff, I can get it. I've just never gone down into that market, but it looks like it might be a thing. So, yeah. All right. So do I have gro grocery items, socks? I'm just going through the chat here now so I can answer all of your questions. Uh, do you have kitchen towels? You have skin in the game on everything. I have a hard time getting. <laughs> okay, Wendy, I just read. I have a hard time getting gin. That's what I thought you wrote. GTI and exemption. Uh, go, uh, go ask in my group if you've got any bundle questions. Go into the the my group, my Facebook group, and ask questions in there so I can we can all kind of pile on. Do you provide UPC? No. Do you need a chicken house? No. I have cats. That would not. They would see that as uh, lunch. Yeah. No. Barb is my spark plug friend. I'm not sure how to take that, but I will take that as a compliment. <laughs> Uh, any other, do you guys have any other questions? I see snarky comments in the comment, which is like fills my heart with joy. Thank you. Uh, but how can I help you? Ask questions in the chat while you got me. I don't see any questions. Okay, no worries. So let me scroll down here, see if we got anything else. So again, you had other Christmas tiles yesterday. Oh, you were on my yesterday thing, weren't you? Do you have those too? I do. I do have those sets, but here's why. So I did my first live, my first Facebook live, woohoo, yesterday in that in that private group called Blue Unicorn Wholesale. Now the couple hundred people in that group are usually ladies who own these online boutique shows. Have you ever seen this? They're Facebook lives and all they do is do what we just did tonight. They just sell stuff, individual stuff on Facebook lives and they make crazy money. So what I offered to them last night were items that I only had like a dozen of or two or three or four. I didn't do that tonight because you guys are here to buy quantity to sell, sell a lot and make a lot. Those ladies buy one, sell one, buy two, sell two, right? So there's a little bit of a different market for that. So that's what Shirley's talking about. She was, or uh, Laura is asking me if I had the Christmas house from yesterday. I only had, I only have small quantity of those. If you want them, hit me up and I'll take care of you. When creating a bundle, how do you use a UPC? You don't. Are you selling a wholesale list this season? Again, I am. I'm working on, and I'll, I'll come back to you in a moment, Shirley, and, and answer in full. Are you selling a wholesale list this season? Again, so I am uh, finishing up two different wholesale lists. Once, one is the grocery. It's huge. Uh, grocery, if you guys have been to a grocery store recently, there's going to be just not a lot of groceries. Remember last year, nobody could get pumpkin, pumpkin filling in a can. I was looking for cranberry to, uh, yesterday because I wanted to make sure I had stuff for Thanksgiving. Like now, no cranberry sauce. There is an aluminum shortage. So anything that comes packed in aluminum, anything in a can, you're not going to be able to get as much of. And it's not because they don't have the product, it's because they can't get the packaging. I'm learning all this great stuff about our, our whole supply chain, right? So I will be launching the grocery wholesale list. I'm shooting for Saturday morning. Look in your email. If you're not on my email list for some reason and you're in here, go to instantwholesaleinventory.com, sign up. That'll get you into my email list, instantwholesaleinventory.com. 
And then uh, I will send out the wholesale directories, that one, and I have, this is new. I've got a liquidation directory coming out. And I haven't announced this yet. I'm creating a course called Liquidation Profits. That's gonna teach you guys how to buy all this stuff that I buy at the great prices that I buy it. Now, the key is you gotta buy, you gotta buy a lot of stuff. You gotta buy bulk to get liquidation prices a lot of times, but I'm creating a course teaching people how to do it for those who are ready for that level. All right, so let me, add, let me see what else. Uh, so Renee, if you missed the live I did last night for the boutique owners, it is in that group, Blue Unicorn Wholesale. So it's facebook.com, facebook.com slash groups slash blue unicorn wholesale, I believe. And if that doesn't come up to search for blue unicorn wholesale, I did some really cute jewelry, a lot of really like spider earrings and spider rings and those beautiful uh, blingy skull crystal necklaces. Um, I did that in that live. I'm not going to waste your time showing it to you here because there's small, you can just go watch that live and order from there. So it's going to be crazy, Barb. Yeah, guys, Q4 this year, we, we thought last year was crazy. This year is going to be my best year. I'm sure of it. Out of all of the years I've been selling on Amazon, this Q4, I'm doubling down. It's um, 10 weeks from today. I want you to mark your calendars. 10 weeks. Triple down, dig in, take January off. Uh, make sure you still have product in the pipeline because people buy Christmas stuff in January. I had uh, my Christmas towels were still up on uh, uh, in January and I was going to pull them back and they were selling just as well as in December. So dig in. This is it. You can make 40, 50, 60% of your annual income in the next 10 weeks. That's my 22 cents. So am I selling wholesale lists this season? Uh, what kind of lists do you want, Kim? Well, I'm, I'm also going to do another pet list. I'm updating it and getting a new pet list created because a lot of a lot of businesses went out of business, unfortunately. So we're doing research to make sure that the the contacts we have in the pet industry are still in business. Do you, you guys want a pet list? I'm working on it. Tell me what wholesale lists you want and supplements, wholesale supplements. That's a tough market, but we can do it. I would do like supplements, vitamins, uh, like gluten-free. I might mash that together. So grocery and pet, those are, the, those are the two I'm working on and the liquidation are the ones I'm working on. Man, and my, liquid, my, my grocery list is, is huge. I might have to break it up into a couple of different directories. So this is just gonna be too much for you guys to process in one directory. So I might do like a you know, directory one, directory two, directory three. And then in the grocery, I've got a, I did a video on creating grocery bundles, especially for Q4. Anybody who buys a grocery list, I'll make sure you get that as well. So Renee said that she is sweating bullets that her Xmas pajamas were going to get to the kids last year, encouraging buyers to get them now on Poshmark. And Kimmel agrees there is a grocery shortage. Interesting. Yeah, we need to triple down on groceries. I'll be able to talk to some of my liquidators. The thing with groceries, uh, you got to be really careful with liquidators that of the expiration date, okay? And also with health and beauty, anything they're putting on the skin, topicals, whatever. I think that that's might be why I stayed away with, from it because whatever is in the pipeline is in the distribution system. If they're selling it off at a really cheap price right now, I would question that because why aren't they sending it to the stores where they get 10 times their money, right? So I'd have to dig in and make sure there's not, not something wrong with that product. So I'd be a little bit more cautious in the grocery market as, a, as somebody who buys liquidation. But teas, I bought eight boxes of tea to replenish. Uh, I, I, did my, I did my once a month run in the middle of the day when nobody else is in there. And I stocked up on whatever I could get that was in stock and teas was one of them. So there's tea lovers like me that, you know, I got my sleepy tea and I got my ginger tea for my tummy. You do, if you, you can get into the tea market and get six different ones and put that together in a bundle with a stocking, not just tea, but grab one of these stockings from the Dollar Tree, figure out how many boxes of tea you can fit in this. This is your added value because everybody else is selling a bundle of six box of teas. Think outside the box and make it special, make it cute, make it different with your packaging. Okay. Or put it in organza bag. I love my organza bags. 
right? So think outside the box. Uh, remember the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra. Break that down. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra. So as people who serve markets of customers, you've got to give that little extra and that's what gives you the competitive edge. You've got to care about what they care about and then give it to them. Okay, I've gone off on my little, I got on my little, uh, my little soapbox there. All right, you guys have any other questions? Y'all want to go live and ask anything live? Nope, you done? <laughs> Are you over me? Awesome, well, thank you so much for all of you for coming on. And if you've got any questions, again, uh, go ahead and uh, email me at contactbluunicorn at gmail.com. My phone number starting tomorrow is 602-888-0342. And let's get your order started. Let's get them in the mail. I can turn your pallets around fast. I can turn your boxes around fast. Get me the orders in. We'll get you invoiced and we'll get that stuff in your hands or in your prep center's hands, wherever you want me to send it. And let's rock and roll. This Q4, Wendy, the blanket size is 30 by 40. It's great for kids and animals. Uh, we'll call her email. I'll, I'll see you guys in the morning. Hit me up and let's, let me help you make some money this Q4. Thank you guys for coming on. Have a great one. Bye.